Hi, welcome back. Today we're gonna do a little bit of garden work. The peas are coming through, but they need a little bit of help. Got this at the gas station. <laughs> That actually worked a lot better than I was expecting. That took about five, 10 minutes. That worked pretty well. Now it's time to just do a couple more of those. This is where we fast forward. I have been waiting eagerly for this package to arrive and it's finally here. I'm so, so excited. This is another package from Kimsi Market. Let me show you everything that I got. <laughs> I got not only one special varietal. This one is called Kawaji. Wow. This is Organic Charm Dream. Oh my gosh, so many goodies. Samguan. Ever since I tried this rice, I always began to wonder how many of you actually know what real rice tastes like? Seaweed flakes, persimmon yakwa, almond crisp jujube snacks. I'm about to make some dinner, but jujubes wrapped around with almonds. And I just like how the ingredients are jujubes, almonds, and jujube extract. That's it. Fancy perilla oil. Organic Korean plum extract. Mm. Savory, nutty. There's a subtle sweetness to the scent of these noodles. And there is kind of a coarser texture. I think it's because of the apple puree that was used in these noodles. Set that aside. I probably would recommend not to eat this recipe and not to eat this dish if you're about to get on a plane and go somewhere, about to be in close quarters with other people. It probably takes a day or so to get that scallion flavor out of your mouth, but it's so worth it because it's so delicious. Mm -hmm. There's kind of a sweet aftertaste right at the very end as you're swallowing. It's actually quite subtle and it's absolutely delicious. I know some places and restaurants use gochujang, the actual Korean red pepper paste, but this is how my mom made it. It was always sweet, but pungent, nutty from the sesame oil, and I just think it's perfect. Mmm, mmm, <laughs> it's so good. This 
scallion salad is just how I remember it, just how my mom used to make it. So, I know we already had dessert, but had this brilliant idea. Ten seconds. It's perfect. <laughs> mm. Wow, well, that's it. If you guys are watching this channel, you guys know that I love to make things from scratch. Even if you're not a from scratch type of home cook, I mean, you guys know. Today's processed food industry does not work in our interests. So that's why I'm really excited to be sharing about businesses on this channel that I really believe in, that I think align with my mission. If you guys haven't heard of Kimsey Market yet, you totally should. I feel really good about supporting small scale farmers in Korea, supporting local operations like the rice mill in Brooklyn freshly processes the rice days before it gets delivered to your door. And you'll be supporting this channel when you use the code fruit and sub 10 for 10% off your order and just getting jazzed about Korean food. You don't have to just watch me eat delicious Korean food all day. You can enjoy it too. So I'm about to go meet a friend for lunch. I'm gonna go to a cute Italian cafe that I haven't been to in the neighborhood. Take you along with me. And then there's a recipe that I wanted to try later this afternoon. So I'm gonna go out and look for some high quality nuts and seeds. Hi. <laughs> Hi baby. I'll be right back. <laughs> it was quite cold this morning, but I actually got kind of nice out. so many options. I'm so tempted by everything. <laughs> Roast them at 350 for you know, a couple minutes. Mm -hmm. I've actually never made this kind of rice cake at home before. Well, I have made rice cakes at home before. And it involved a lot of pounding, so I'm glad that this recipe doesn't require any pounding. <laughs> just season them ever so slightly, just with a little bit of salt. Let's increase the temperature to 375. When I saw my sister last weekend, I was reminded I need to finish her housewarming gift. I've been working on this. I started working on it years ago, actually. And I wanted to pair it with a really touching poem, blessing her home and wishing just good things upon that home, good memories to be made in that home. You can 
can see that I had many iterations of the house. May this house shelter your life. When you come in home here, may all the weight of the world fall from your shoulders. May your heart be tranquil here, blessed by peace the world cannot give. May this home be a lucky place where the graces your life desires always find the pathway to your door. May nothing destructive ever cross your threshold. May this be a safe place full of understanding and acceptance where you can be as you are without the need of any mask of pretense or image. May this home be a place of discovery where the possibilities asleep in the clay of your soul can emerge to deepen and refine your vision for all that is yet to come to birth. May it be a house of courage where healing and growth are loved, where dignity and forgiveness prevail. A home where patience of spirit is prized, and the sight of the destination is never lost, though the journey be difficult and slow. May there be great delight around this hearth. May it be a house of welcome for the broken and diminished. May you have eyes to see that no visitor arrives without a gift, and no guest leaves without a blessing. Thank you. Okay, all right, thanks so much. Thank you.